TikTok in China is much different than TikTok in the United States insofar as in China, the content I'm told is much more engineering and science related, whereas in TikTok America, it is booty shaking, etc. Welcome to the Busy Business Owner Podcast for time crunched entrepreneurs who want expert marketing advice and relevant business news. Hosted by Kellen Kautzman, award winning author and owner of Send It Rising, a global digital marketing agency. People of the world, welcome to the Busy Business Owner Podcast, the only show on the internet hosted by a walrus. Today on the show, bye bye TikTok. Shocking legal battle could wipe out your favorite app by January. Meta's new AI will do all your reels work for you. Instagram's new chat widgets because simple conversations are just too boring. New York to save teens from evil algorithms. Google's new AI to save advertisers from bad leads. Ad agencies embrace AI 91% jump on the generative AI bandwagon. Let's get started. Bye-bye TikTok. Shocking legal battle could wipe out your favorite app by January. TikTok is heroically battling the U.S. government's brilliant Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act, which demands it sell to a U.S. company or be banned. TikTok claims this is an outrageous free speech violation based on imaginary threats. They say the act's 270-day deadline for divestiture is laughably impossible and would gut TikTok's all-powerful algorithm. Now, is TikTok going away? I have a, an incredible sister who has a company that relies entirely on TikTok for their revenue. I think the chances of TikTok going away in the United States is approximately 0%. I've been wrong before. I could be wrong now, but there's way too much money to be made. Um, and the government in the United States is a big fan of money. Now, the Chinese Communist Party seems to have a be singing a different tune. Uh, many of what we consider world staples are not allowed within China, i.e. Google, etc. The United States obviously has employees and there is a major benefit to the United States. However, I have heard that TikTok in China is much different than TikTok in the United States insofar as in China, the content I'm told is much more engineering and science related, whereas in TikTok America, it is booty shaking, etc. Meta's new AI will do all your reels work for you because who needs creativity anyway? Meta is generously testing an automated feature to optimize reels for business pages on Facebook. The auto A-B testing tool creates multiple real variations and tests them with different audiences, picking the best one without you lifting a finger. This marvel of innovation joins Meta's other automated tools like caption A-B testing and auto-generated templates, ensuring you can kick back while AI does all the creative work. So auto A-B testing in regards to how the video starts. Now we have AI in terms of content. I think about my son being born only a year and a half ago and what AI is going to look for him. It is truly a measure of our willpower in regards to what is typically considered cheating. Now, the genie's out of the bottle. Anyone can use AI for a million different things. Examples include writing a song. I wrote a song for my sister for her birthday. I had AI do a lot of it. I created a board game for my wife's birthday. Husbands out there, AI is unbelievably helpful in regards to doing a lot of the creative work. Now, when it comes to your business, we have created hundreds of landing pages for niche keywords. Very effective. Surprisingly, other folks in our industries are not doing it. ChatGPT content remains ranking number one for a variety of keywords. For example, if you type in SEO for landscapers, Las Vegas, send it rising continues to rank number one for that. I'm using it as a litmus test to determine whether or not chat GPT content will be taken down by Google. It has been many months. And there appears to be no such thing. The AI revolution is at hand. Chat GPT 4.0 is vital. Dolly integrated. Instagram is testing new chat widgets to spice up your DMs. These groundbreaking tools still in development include a countdown timer a time zone display, and pinned content access because who doesn't need a countdown in their chat? These widgets aim to boost engagement by adding extra layers of context and prompts can be used to pester customers with offers and timers. I mean, chat widgets to spice up DMs. Does it seem relevant to you? Doesn't seem relevant to me. New York to save teens from evil algorithms. Parents can't do it alone. New York is swooping in to rescue teens 
from the clutches of algorithmic feeds with the Stop Addictive Feeds Exploitation for Kids Act. Rolls right off the tongue. The acronym is SAFE. It's a Child Data Protection Act. Governor Kathy Hochul signed these gems, which ban social media platforms from showing addictive, personalized feeds to anyone under 18 without parental consent. What is an addictive, personalized feed? I assume it is a personalized feed of any kind. Do I want to consent as a parent? I actually do. Clearly, teens need protecting from engaging content. Haha. <laughs> as a parent, I would prefer to be asked. So I'm for this. I understand that it is incredibly difficult for the social media platforms to, you know, manage these sorts of things, but it makes sense to me. Google's new AI to save advertisers from bad leads because manual work is so last year. Starting in July, Google will automate lead credits for local service ads. I love local service ads. I happen to think that they are very effective as long as they are targeted correctly. The only problem with local service ads is say you're a lawyer and you don't do medical malpractice, but you are getting leads for that because it falls under the personal injury umbrella, then they could be devastating. Electricians, folks like this, local service ads are quite strong. So anyway, Google is aiming to streamline operations and ensure fairer distribution of ad credits under LSAs, local service ads. Google's machine learning models will review all leads. Wow. Automatically crediting invalid ones without the need for manual disputes. So for those unfamiliar LSA ads currently require someone to go in and say, hey, look, this is an invalid ad. Please don't charge me for it. Google, in their infinite wisdom, apparently is able to get rid of this manual piece of the puzzle. This typically took up to 30 days. This change promises to save advertisers time and resources, especially benefiting those with limited budgets. Interesting. Ad agencies embrace AI. There's been a 91% jump in the generative AI bandwagon hopitude. A Forrester report reveals that 91% of U.S. ad agencies, that's me, are either using or exploring generative AI. That's us. We are definitely doing it. With large agencies leading the charge, over half believe AI will significantly impact content creation. It already has marketplace dynamics, consumer interaction, and client content. What we've noticed here at Send It Rising, your digital marketing agency, is that most clients are no longer impressed by blog content generation. They know that it can be done cheaply with AI. We've moved on with blog content and landing page development, which is to say there are a ton of niche keywords for your business that you can rank for, and it's still early. People aren't doing this yet. Hundreds of landing pages can be generated for niche keywords. For example, for a plumber, you could go with replace and then insert all the different brand names of a faucet, right? That could be 20 pages. You could do every room in the house leak, for example, bathroom leak specialist, kitchen leak specialist, etc. And so as you can see it wouldn't take long to create hundreds and hundreds of pages like this. And with a chat GPT, it allows us to do precisely. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. We love you. Thanks for swinging by the Busy Business Owner Podcast. We are offering free 30 minute chat GPT 40 trainings individualized on Zoom with yours truly. If you're a business owner interested in having your mind completely blown wide open with what chat GPT 40 can do for your business and your relationship, please. Email us at info, I-N-F-O, at senditrising.com. That's I-N-F-O at S-E-N-D-I-T-R-I-S-I-N-G.com. Let's get a meeting on the schedule, and let me walk you through just how incredible this platform is for your business.